All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zah. And we are Real Time. Today, we got Season 1, Episode 3 of Yellow Jackets. This one's called The Dollhouse. Last episode, the way it ended was Misty destroying... What, it, what was it called? The Black I, Box? I think it's the Black Box, yeah. Yeah, you, I know you guys commented. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but it's like the thing to... So they can, I think, either track or communicate with the plane. So pretty much you guys were letting us know, which I think we all, we kind of had the idea that, got the base idea. yeah, that, um, that's the reason that they, uh, weren't found quicker because they were expecting to get found like the next day mm -hmm. where we're currently at. And obviously we know they stayed there for 19 months. So I think it was Misty trying to be the hero. She was so hyped, hyped about everyone saying like they would be screwed if she wasn't here so yeah she uh she, she just destroyed it and now oh, I, if the girls find out they're gonna be so mad especially yeah. the longer they, they stay here if that gets revealed so but misty in the present day is with natalie natalie and they're going to find current day travis so that means travis must have survived and it sort of looked like natalie and travis might have some sort of romance going forward I can definitely see it because Natalie's going to look for him and they had something like there in the past. But Travis, Travis's dad freaking got sucked out of the, the plane when it was going down. He landed on a tree, spear through the stomach, dead. Um, there's so many dead people at the crash site. Like, I just wonder if, like, what's going to happen? Like, are they going to eat them? It's it's going to be crazy. It's, this show has been really good through the first two sec two episodes i don't think that the the girls are just gonna start eating people just quite yet i think that whole thing is definitely stemming from the the symbol that we keep seeing and last episode that we learned uh was around before the crash like this this is an established thing that they are just coming across now it's not like they created it so um, that tribe might go in and snatch the body. That's what though. I was going to yeah, say, too. Yeah, that, that's a real possibility. I think that um, sooner rather than later, that group is going to like make itself known to these girls. Yeah. And, uh, we know for a fact that Misty is a part of them at some point, but we don't know if she's the first one. We don't know if she's the only one. Uh, it's, it's really interesting to, to think about it, but I, I hope that it's not common for them to be in the group or because i just don't want to see all of them eating people I feel like 19 months with all the bodies that were there like i feel like they didn't need to start killing new people like isn't that a lot of food i don't, I, I wouldn't i mean I don't know. but those bodies are gonna start decompose like yeah. human but you can't just eat a body from months ago you know what i mean mm. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though, before we get into this episode. If you guys have been enjoying our Yellow Jackets reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, A Talk, all of our social medias, and the address to our P.O. Box. But yeah, let's get into it. Season 1, Episode 3 of Yellow Jackets, The Dollhouse. Let's go. Grave? Yeah. Burying their coach. What's her name? Van? Van. Yeah, there's some people who aren't, I don't think, important over there. Yeah, I, was just, I see these random people, and you just know they're dead. Come on. Let's join hands. We'll pray All for because them. the religious girl called her and strapped her account in her head. Mm. <laughs> Please accept Rachel Goldman into your arms so that she may fill your kingdom with music. Please accept Coach Martinez. I can't wait to see Laura Lee just go fucking crazy eventually. Like she's just gonna snap. Yeah. The religious girl. I think so. Like maybe drop the whole religious thing and just go nuts. Are you gonna die? Die. And not gonna be afraid of. Whom shall I fear? I'm going for a walk. Hmm. What do we really know about uh -oh. this attorney? She claims to put education first, but has she been honest about how? The only real way is by cannibalizing your tax dollars. Oh, what a use of the word. Mm. I feel like that means she definitely ate people. It's probably just like a story people say, but... Oh, yeah, I think whoever made the ad has no idea that it, she did, yeah. but it's just ironic. Rumors. Yeah. Biscuits, go to the park. Okay, baby. Go get your jacket. Dude, I would not let my son out oh, if, he, that thing. if he said people were watching him from his tree. And then went 
Sammy, Sammy. <laughs> Said his name, own name four times in a row. Oh, no thanks. I like my blood pressure high. You want your heart rate up, just say the word. Mm. Mm -hmm. Cheater. I have to take the van in this afternoon to fix the bumper. You think you can swing by the mechanics and, and pick me up? Um, four? Is that what time you're supposed to yeah. be with there? <laughs> it's uh, out today. And we're expecting a delivery. I'm sorry, babe. I really can't. My boys need me at the store today. Mm. <laughs> he has a mistress. Maybe you shouldn't keep your phone right there. Or just not cheat yeah. on your wife, probably. <laughs> That's ready, correct. Probably the root of the problem, I'd say. Yeah. What about you? Are you, uh, are you dating anyone? <laughs> mm. How long till uh, we get to Travis? Like, Natalie doesn't like her. She showed up with a gun. <laughs> like, yeah. And then Misty ruined her car and was just like, you need a ride? Imagine somehow dating Misty. Your life would be fucked. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Was that a tooth? No. Is a Porsche? Yeah, it's from her car. It's a spark plug. Uh, she pulled the, the shit. That's why her car wouldn't start. I mean, we already knew yeah, that, but yeah, that's just confirmation. Chocolate. What's her agenda? I think she just want. Yeah, she just wanted to go to Travis's. Okay, when the rescue team gets here, if it gets here, don't say that. Hmm. She fucking hates Jackie. Mm, I mean, <laughs> she left, wanted to leave her to die. Probably the right call. Can you throw that shit out already? Dad, give it to me some way. Yours wouldn't pop. Well, are they still popping, Javi? Hmm. I feel like Travis might kill someone, bro. Got a lot of anger in him right now. Yes. I saw I someone comment. About her medicine yeah. too, that it's for schizophrenia. Who? The girl that takes the pills right there. Is her name Lottie or no? I think. Well, that's not good. Yeah, that was only, her last one right there. One left. All in favor of waiting here. Jackie's like the leader of the team. They usually go yeah. with her. All in favor of the lake. Yeah. It's the lake. This is the the turn when they stop listening to whatever Jackie says. That would be sick to go to a lake and just start fishing and just eating fish every day. Better than humans. That's the top of the plane. The cockpit, yeah. <laughs> you believe he's still alive. They're telling the tribe right where they went. Yeah, literally. <laughs> They're gonna go eat all the people dead there. I guess they're buried. Dig them up. In the van fixed by Mr. Handsome Mechanic, who has some weird ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, she's at Jeff's. Hmm. Four o'clock. I mean, I feel like she's very noticeable. Hotel's never a good sign. No, definitely not. I mean, quite literally, probably where people go to cheat. And to stay for vacations. Multi purposes. That thing was eaten by a human. Ooh. A wolf, probably. And you can kill a fucking bear? Yeah. Wolves can kill anything if the pack's big enough. We did There's... see that flashback. We saw a preview yeah. of Taisa mm. scared of wolves. But it was snowy then, so. Some of you guys just love living off the grid. But so far, nobody's talked. How hard are you pushing? Money? But mm -hmm. deals? They working together? Yeah, so Taisa, like, hired her? That's her daughter's junkie. You got proof? Three rehab stints before the age of 16. How old is she now? 18. Fair game. Politics is an evil game, bro. Bringing the kids into it and shit like that? Mm -hmm. Honey, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I guess they were playing rough and my son's elbow whacked him in the face. Sammy. 
Got a demon in him, bro. Yeah. The, the lady in the tree the told me to do it. The lady in the tree. Baby, we need to talk about why you hit that boy today. No. Yes. You don't hit people no matter what they say to you. Be quiet. Mmm, yo. Okay, that's it. Give him back. Give him back. Damn. Sammy's got an attitude now. What has Sammy been? Oh, shit! Oh, hell yeah, bitch! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no! Love this song. You guys are about to get eaten. I know this song. It played, oh, my! It played it at the end of Dairy Girls as and well. And something else. That we just watched. Sad. Must be warm. I I wouldn't care what temperature it was. I would just love getting in water. Is Travis actually hot? Oh. <laughs> it's been three days. Yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're like, wait. I mean, that is definitely Canada. Here's Travis's house. No, his house isn't too hot. I don't see a car. We could go back into town, check it out, get some wings. <laughs> you didn't break it. Or Damn. That works too. Badass. There was this one guy, Mike McGreevy, aka the Gibbsboro Ghoul. Turns out he was robbing graves because he was collecting teeth to make. Hey, can you? What the fuck is she on about? I kind of wanted to hear the end of that story. Ah. Uh, wait, that looks kind. Of, that looked recent, no? Pretty. Oh shit. Oh okay. He looked handsome. Whoa. You seeing things? Hi. Thought <laughs> I'd bring the lake to you. Here, take your shirt off. I'll squirt you. <laughs> Misty's so, like, creepy. I think Misty likes him. Why does she keep looking at her like that? That's a $200 bottle. It's expensive taste for someone who's barely making minimum wage. Whoa. Freeze! Damn. Uh, that's not really necessary. Get your hands up! <laughs> what are you doing here? We're just visiting an old friend. Such an old friend you had to bust his window? What did Misty put in her pocket? I thought it was the pay stub, but Natalie's holding it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to give up room information if your name is not on the reservation. <laughs> um, I'm his wife. I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm with Homeland Security. <laughs> I I have my badge in my pocket, but this motherfucker has eyes everywhere. If I show it to you, I might get made. Excuse the guy? Agent Smith. He sees on the line. Briefing. That's the dude, right? Yeah. From the mechanic. Yeah, he's the mechanic. Why the hell is he here? What are you doing here? Well, I was just about to ask you the same thing, but apparently the answer is anti-terrorism. My studio space is down the street, and this place is a classic... It's weird he's here. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. what? Uh, Definitely following her as she's following him. Not him as in him. Him as in her wife. Got it. Yep. Her that wife. all made sense. You stole my battery cable, Misty. Why would you fucking do that? Well, I wanted to come with you, and I didn't think you'd let me. <laughs> that was such an easy answer for her. <laughs> I just know how this story goes, and so do you. You two are the worst for each other, and I don't want to pull you out of that toxic shit again. Mm. If I pull strings to get you out of jail, how do you think that's going to look? I don't know. Seems like Ty like, pays for her shit. Yeah, they seem closer than I thought. Or Ty's doing it so she doesn't speak up yeah. and get her in trouble with politics. Like man.
Maybe she does. Definitely. What is that? A sniper? What is that? It looks like a reflection. Guys, there's something on the hill! Mm. Let's go! Like a telescope or a sniper. A sniper? Like that's how it looks when you're looking in the scope. On video games. Mm. Shit. What's up with her? Is she the schizophrenic? Yeah, I think she she doesn't have any of her pills anymore. Yeah, but she took hers for the day, I thought. Hello, is anyone here? Uh-oh. She's not going to be there when they come back out. Maybe they just went on a hike? Yeah, like a decade ago. Mm. I mean, this is a place to stay. Reeks in here. Ugh. Probably where they live. With all those cobwebs? I don't think anybody lives in here. What the hell, Jackie? That's not your personal buffet. <coughs> Ew. See, this is why we should have stayed in the plane. What? Because the beans were bad? <laughs> why does Shauna keep staring at her? Because they just have beef? Weird relationship right now. Like, they're best friends, but it's weird. Hey, this guy kind of looks like you. Flex. Why do they call him Flex? You actually look like her. Oh, yeah. Very funny. Do you guys, like, actually jerk off to this stuff? Nah, we, we hate that shit. <laughs> Flex. I feel like Javi's gonna die. That'd be sad. I could see it. Spit it out. The gum. No. It out. Why is it such a big deal? Because the only reason Javi still has is because his dad gave it to him, and yeah, yeah it makes him feel better. I know. But that's why he's upset. Don't you understand? Dad is fucking dead. Poor kid. Yeah, it's not not a good way to treat your little bro. Who do you have the call? Your bird? Oh. <laughs> Caligula hasn't learned how to use the phone yet. I could see Missy getting them out somehow. Yeah. For sure. Yep. Are they doing stuff? It looks like they're just talking about business. Do you think they're going to be having sex in the restaurant or what? <laughs> they're just going to be literally kissing while they're walking through public? Don't ask where or why. I just go. He's so deep, bro. I feel like he might have been part of the freaking call. <laughs> Who did you call? Oh, just someone I thought was a friend and turned out I was right. Mm. Okay, Kevin's here. Kevin? Kevin, what do we know? The dude he's from the, the bar. Yeah, he's the cop. And he's the and, oh, old friend of Natalie's. He thinks I'm you. <laughs> We're cop? Oh! <laughs> this guy's gonna die. Yeah. Easily. Like. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, okay? I have no idea what's right or wrong out here. I don't know about you, but. I'm feeling. Are you too? You should have come for us by now, right? Yes. What if they're never going to? What makes them come in 19 months? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe they just found a way out. Yeah, maybe like they just found civilization. Because like in in theory, they like if they went, if they just kept moving, they would eventually find civilization. Yeah, but it seems like the ones that joined the tribe would have just like embraced it and mm -hmm. stayed there to yeah, just you know. <laughs> he ain't even dead yet, and the flies are already here. Oh. I think he might be dead now. No. I can't just be like this now. Why couldn't I have died? I'm here for you. What? 
What do we need him for, Misty? Food. Is she looking at me? What is it? Uh oh. Is there some family you thing? Oh no. I mean, stay away. Who it's like Sammy, how he sees the girl. Oh, holy shit. What? That thing gave me the chills, bro. You're like Michael Myers. That's what fucking he's seeing. But he says it's a lady in the tree. Not a man with no eyes. But maybe it's just like his version of the same problem. But whatever they say about me, I hope you know. It isn't true. Not the bad one. Sammy is so The man with him. no eyes. I'm still thinking of that. I feel like we're gonna see him again. Do you think Thaisa sees him? Oh, maybe. And they wouldn't show that flashback for no reason. What do you mean? Like, just showing the man with no eyes? Yeah, but only the grandma was seeing it. Well, she saw it. Did she? Didn't she? No, the, gra the grandma was seeing it. We, it hasn't, like, confirmed that she sees anything yet. Just the grandma and Sammy. You're a parent. So am I. The better tag dad. Taisa. Insinuating that I'm dangerous? Guess what? You're right. Uh oh. Another move like that, and your daughter's face is above the fold of every newspaper in the tri state area. Hmm. Don't fuck with Taisa. Don't fuck with me, Phil. That's what I'm saying, Taisa. I respect that she didn't make that move. Yeah. Yeah. Yet, she's just threatening it. I mean. Still dirty business, but I'm glad she didn't do that right off the bat. Oh man. There are spiders that could eat your face. Don't say that. Uh oh. He's definitely evil. Yeah, who is he? Watch it. Uh oh, maybe she does see it. Jesus, I thought that yeah, was... she she is like, I don't believe in that stuff. Like that can't be real. You're gonna see it. Don't uh <laughs> We can't have horror in this shit. Oh, man, it's already man. been pretty scary. Oh Did she see it the whole way back then? Yeah. She's going to see in all three freaking no. times. That's not the angel. That's the man with no eyes. He's going to be sitting in the tree, I think. Every time in a tree or what? No, I meant like... Looks where? like she's looking outside, though, in the... The attic? Ugh. Oh, is Grandma going to... What if, she the sees, face? what if she sees grandma with no eyes? Oh, eyeball. Manny's eyeball, maybe? Manny? His doll? Is she gonna try to open her eyeball? Mm-hmm. Who did that? Sammy, probably. Body? I told you. What? What's up here? No, 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 no. The person? No. That is a skeleton. Alright, no man with the no eyes. Just no eyes is a common theme, I guess. Come on, Trav. We're gonna see Trav and he's gonna end. He's gonna end. He's gonna end, but the show's gonna keep going. Yeah. He must be like trapping or something, bro. Like, how does he have all that money? If he's making minimum wage. Oh God, Natalie, don't. Uh oh. No. He's dead. Is he hanging? What? Natalie, don't. Is he? Yeah, he's up there. Why? No future Travis. 
What? Maybe the cult set it up. What is the timing of this? The police are coming. We have to go. Dude, I feel like Misty's like. Come on. I think there's people like trying to set them up. Maybe Travis didn't Travis actually kill himself. Travis. Oh, she's saying that. This is the last thing Travis wrote before he died. That's what. Yeah, that's what Misty grabbed. The hell is it? Tell Nat she was right. Didn't do this. Somebody killed him. Misty couldn't have killed him. Right? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know, like maybe the postcards or something like they're bat they're here or something, or I don't know. I don't know. It's just there's so many people or things going on where it's like it's, it seems like someone else is pulling the strings. Like even Shauna being with this random dude, it seems like he has some type of importance to. He has a role to play. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that would be like members from the tribe or something or the cult or whatever you want to call it, but I feel like they would have a different look if, the, if that's what they did for X amount of years. Like, I yeah, don't maybe. think it would be them. I don't think. I think it's a cult. I feel like it feels like a, more of a cult than it. They're wearing crazy shit on their heads. I think it's a tribe though. Really? I mean, they live out in the wilderness and survive. I don't know. That symbol's crazy. It's just their tribe symbol, I think. Yeah, I mean, I I'm just I want to know more about. We I mean, we haven't seen them since that first scene in the first episode. We haven't seen them do anything. We just see the symbol and all that, but I'm I'm honestly right now really interested with the Taisa storyline just because it's so far removed from everything else like it seemed it seems like her grandma was like seeing something the same way that Sammy is seeing a lady in the tree um so potentially there could be like family mental illness possibly I'm not sure but we don't know if Taisa sees that yet we were thinking it there at the end, but that just looks like a, ske a, a regular skeleton. It's probably the person who lived in this house, I'm imagining, just died in the attic. But yeah, that's weird. And I think it's definitely going to be important for sure. I mean, there's, it has to be there. They wouldn't bring it up for, for no reason. I'm kind of bummed that knowing that Travis is dead now, like, I'm just going to look at him in the past and be like, wow, he's, he's gone in the future now. So at least I'm we get to figure out who killed him. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah, it's probably gonna all link at the end. It's gonna be crazy. But yeah, they went there uh, digging for stuff on Travis. I don't think they got much in, in, but at the last second, Misty showed Natalie that note saying she was right about something. So what could she be right about? Um, she, I definitely don't think Travis killed himself. No. He's, he's definitely, he's been murdered. I, I, I was curious if Javi was alive in the future before, but now that Travis is dead, I'm super curious to know if Javi is alive in the future because as far as we know, he would be the only person left from like that family. I don't know, like they had any other siblings or a mom, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, there's still a bunch of people that we have not seen future versions of, so time will tell. Yeah, that family tree just probably ends if Javi's done. But yeah, I, I guess Shauna did confirm her suspicion about Jeff, and uh, that's definitely gonna shake up their like the way she, they act around each other going forward. I don't know if she's gonna. I doubt she's just gonna be like, "Hey, I caught you," mm -hmm. whatever. I think she's gonna just act differently around him now. But yeah, I think that's very important. I'm still wondering if this is all just like him being unfaithful and her being unfaithful, or if like it does connect to anything of like the other the main storyline at all. Yeah. I mean, what if like Jeff isn't cheating? She just cheated on Jeff. Like, what if he's like trying to do something, like plan something for her? I don't know. It does seem like he's cheating since he's in a hotel with a girl, but they weren't like they were talking pretty. I don't know. It didn't seem like they were. Their gestures were like anything like cheating 
Alright guys, that's pretty much it though for this episode. If you guys have been enjoying our Yellow Jackets reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, all of our social medias, and the address to our PO Box. But yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for Season 1, Episode 4 of Yellow Jackets. Peace out.